Hey folks, it's John, and you ought to know about the most important aspect in the fish keeping hobby, the thing that has killed more fish than all of the other fish keeping mistakes combined, and that is the nitrogen cycle. I've been producing videos since 2012, and in that time I've done probably five or six videos on the nitrogen cycle, but I still get comments every single day about the process, so I figured I would take the time to run through some of the common scenarios and statements that are made in the comment section of my videos. But before we do that, let's talk about what the nitrogen cycle is. When you keep fish in an aquarium, you're basically keeping them in a toilet that hasn't been flushed, and you're keeping them in a garbage dump. Your fish digest their food, and what happens? Well, they poop, hence the toilet reference. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as a litter box for fish. You also throw food into the tank and inevitably some of it gets past the fish and goes down to the bottom and gets hidden either in the gravel or behind rocks and it just sits there, hence the garbage dump reference. So all of that uneaten food and fish poop sit around in the bottom of your tank and they do what? They just sit there and linger and rot and decay and when that happens it releases ammonia into the water. Ammonia is a fish killer. Think of ammonia as methane gas from human waste and garbage. If you're in a room that's enclosed with no circulation whatsoever, eventually things are gonna start to build up, things from you and also the garbage and stuff like that. And through time, that's gonna release methane gas. And you would eventually die from exposure to methane. I don't know that I could think of a worse way to go. Oh! You farted. No, it wasn't me, it was the chair, eh? Fortunately, in an aquarium, nature intervenes by creating bacteria which grabs a hold of that ammonia and converts it to nitrite and then nitrate, which is much less harmful for the fish. The natural buildup of this bacteria is what we in the aquarium hobby call the cycle. So here are some common statements or questions that I get about the cycling process. My water tested perfect, so the store told me my tank was fully cycled. Here's the thing, aquarium water that has been in the tank for any length of time without an ammonia source will always test good. What I mean is, if there hasn't been anything in the tank like uneaten food or waste, there's nothing to cause the cycle to happen. So you set up your tank, let it run for a month like the website told you, take a sample into the store, and it tests perfectly. Well, of course it tests perfectly. There's never been anything in it to cause a problem, let alone get the cycle going. I put Fluval Cycle, Quick Start, or Dr. Tim's in the tank, which made it instantly cycle, so I'm good. Look, these are great products, and I do believe in them, but they're not the instant cycle that people think. What these products do is introduce live bacteria in the tank to help boost the cycling process. They don't instantly cycle the tank. I don't care what the label says. I let the tank run for a month and it tested perfect at the store. So I threw a bunch of fish in it and then a week later the ammonia spiked and all my fish died. Again, the tank didn't have an ammonia source in it which meant the cycle never happened. Then you put fish in and all of a sudden you have an ammonia source and everything crashes because the cycle hasn't happened yet. So, okay, then fine. How do you know when the tank is cycled? Set up your aquarium, start up your filters, and let it run normally. Introduce an ammonia source. The source can be fish food or even fish, but please understand, you're gonna put the fish through some stress. At this point, you'll wanna be testing your water every day. Since there's an ammonia source, you'll start to see ammonia show up in your test. This is good, this is what we want. As the bacteria builds up either naturally or by introducing live bacteria, you'll start to see the ammonia levels go down and nitrite go up. Again, the bacteria will continue to build and eventually get strong enough to break that nitrite down and convert it to nitrate. After you've seen all this happen, the ammonia goes up and a few days later it goes back down and then nitrite goes up and then goes back down, and then the nitrate goes up, that's when you know your tank is cycled and you can safely add fish. That's when you know that the bacteria is converting all of these things to nitrate. That's when you're good. 
Listen folks, the nitrogen cycle is the single biggest aspect of fish keeping that you need to understand before you ever buy your first aquarium. If you already have your first aquarium, well, you can learn it now too. That's totally fine. Do as much research on this as you possibly can. Watch a bunch of videos. I'll put links in the description to my videos, but also watch other channels' videos. We need all of these different opinions. You can watch all of this, then get a clear understanding of what the nitrogen cycle is, then you'll be good. Your future fish will appreciate it for sure, and most importantly, you'll actually have a better experience with this hobby. So there you go, now you know what every new fish keeper ought to know before buying their first aquarium. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do us the favor of clicking that like button down there. It helps get that engagement up. And if you like this type of content, if you wanna see more of it, click the subscribe button, ring the bell, do all that good stuff. We're putting out a new episode of You Ought to Know every single week. You can also put suggestions down there of things that you think people ought to know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking to you again next week when I'll tell you something else you ought to know.